Hi there, welcome to Creative Journey. I'm going to do a sketchbook tour today. I'm going to take you through this a sketchbook which I took to France. On Creative Journey, I'm trying to improve my artwork and I hope that you'll come along on the journey and improve your artwork too. So, I really like this little sketchbook. I was drawn to it immediately, uh, just the colours on the front, and it also has three different sections which are all different colours as well, I like that. Um, so, the journey started in Paris and it actually started the Orangery and we'll come back to the Water Liz by Claude Monet in a big way later on. But one of the um, things in the Orangery is this beautiful Cezanne, um, which I developed from that sketch, developed that into a watercolour there. A very worth going to see the Orangery. It's a small museum in the Tuileries, absolutely recommend it. We actually stayed in this hotel just opposite the Pantheon, which is absolutely amazing. And you'll see in the sketchbook, I've done quite a lot of just uh, using the flyers and things to actually just kind of mess about with some interesting kind of visual things here. Uh, so that's what's going on here. And some other sketches from the Orangery, this time looking mostly at composition rather than color. Um, and this is now getting onto, that's the Pantheon there, this is now getting onto the Musée d'Orsay, which is one of the most um, busy museums um, in Paris, uh, and it's absolutely wonderful, absolutely recommend it. It's got all of the Impressionist stuff um, in there, and this little sketch by Bougerou, which I developed into a watercolour, but not all that successfully. But some other little mini sketches from the um, Musée d'Orsay, which I did develop into these little watercolours here, these two, this Breton and Herbert. Uh, I thought they were quite, um, they did quite well really, just quite, you know, it's just a series of tones from light to dark, working through the larger brushes into the smaller brushes, and I thought they were quite effective, um, effective end there. Um, also, they have some Van Gogh stuff, and I can never really walk past the Van Gogh stuff. And I can't really, um, you can't really look at a Van Gogh without using some really bright colours. And all I really take with me in my sketchbook uh, is just a, a primary colours blue, um, red, and yellow, and a white, which I just blend in. Um, but this is the one reason why I actually took the watercolours around with me because I'm trying to get more colour into my art. Just some other little uh, collages using the um, using the map of the Musée d'Orsay. I'm just messing around here. It's Vincent taking a selfie and a Cezanne that, or a selfie in front of a masterpiece like absolutely everybody was in the Musée d'Orsay. Um, here's some Monet sketches and I used to be absolutely disinterested in Monet completely until I saw one in Madrid many years ago and um, I just thought it was old, old person stuff. But then I stand in front of it, it appeared to like breathe, it almost had like a life. And I thought that was amazing for a landscape. And so I was just trying to find out what it was about the Monet's that um, made that effect. I think it might be a shadow in the light, and I also think it might be the lights, the sorry, reds, the warm colours and the, and the cold colours, reds and blues, just juxtaposing them and making things seem to kind of move. In the Musée d'Orsay, there's a huge collection of uh, Degas, and especially Degas sculptures. These are little bronze dancers, and again, I've developed them from these sketches later. You know, just when I had a bit of time in up an evening, just with my with my watercolors, I felt that was quite an effective one. They're not the best dancers I've ever done. I've done quite a few things dancers before. This Candide running through the wine fields. Castle at Montreal Bailey, and uh, we did some wine tasting, so that's what these two pages are all about. Here's where we stayed, not in this chateau, but in this little Vigit. Uh, very, very nice indeed. And this is from this is the car entrance of the Vigit you stayed in, so previously we're looking from this direction, this is the other side of it. Montreal Bailey Chateau, close. Fontevraud, now Fontevraud was very, very interesting. Um, it's a big abbey. Uh, but it had, was one of the best exhibitions I've ever seen, and you could really go around and do, do about three tours. Go around and just look at the architecture of the building itself. 
go around and look at some arch- architectural exhibition that they had on like, installations as you went around and go around and play with the kids stuff and the kids stuff was, was amazing like you could sit on, a, on a, like a little pad and draw and it was being projected onto the architecture in front of you so kids were absolutely loving these, stuff, these things there was even a like um, cops and robbers like chase game that they could play with, uh, with like on little go-karts around a, um, a track upstairs in the attic didn't really have a huge amount of time to develop these, but uh, so some other views of the, of the chateau. Now, Angers, Angers has um, this amazing thing, it's called the Apocalypse Tapestry. And I just did some little sketches. I'm really interested in the way they use these shapes of these wings. Um, so I kind of developed these into these things here. Not really using watercolours in the way that one would expect to use watercolours, but with some nice effect, I felt. Um, and then we went to Giverny, which is where Monet spent his last kind of few years, and there was an exhibition of Sirola. Um, so here's some little sketches from him. Some other things in the Giverny Museum, Impressionist Museum, and some little sketches from Monet's Water Lily Pond, which you can see what I've done here. I've started to try and think about composition. You can maybe see this one I've developed into a bit of a watercolour. Just trying to have a little go at finding those same colours and using those same techniques that he he used. And then this was from his window, just looking down the street in Germany. It's a nice, it's a nice place, but uh, you don't need to spend a lot of time there. Just a kind of day trip is enough, really. Maybe one night. A bust of. Claude in his house, and some more from the Sorolla exhibition. That looks quite nice. This is Summer by Sorolla. And then this sketchbook carries on into Greece. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope that was interesting, and I hope you've been inspired to have a little go at some other things yourself. Uh, let me know if you've got any sketchbooks to share with me, or any videos you think I should uh, see, any tips you've got for me on my art, and comment below if you've got any questions or any comments or any um, tips or any ideas you'd like to see more videos on. All right, thank you very much for watching.